Also, Orc can be quite difficult to predict in this matchup. Many different builds are possible. Many different styles for the Orc are possible. Well, no more talk. Let's fight. 1-2-0 versus Focus Group C Ascension Final. Whoever wins two maps is in the next round. Facing Lin in the winner bracket quarterfinal. And what do we see? DK opening, Farseer opening, we have a war mill, no barracks. Focus on the way to mass air and teching at the 150 mark. The fastest tech possible. Mass air indeed expected here. Um, it was not too long ago, just a few weeks when Lin also showed a really cool strat, the Raider Walker expansion play. Raiders and walkers really strong at taking on ghouls, especially before destroyers are ready. But it seems like that has kind of fallen by the wayside, right? When was even the last time we saw that Raider Walker stuff? So maybe that is actually not a possibility for Orcs anymore? It seems like Wyvern Mass Air is all the rage across the board. Lin played a lot of headhunters there, so yeah, you don't see any Raider Walker in that regard. Interesting to see that focus is not storming across. It is a very... Um, it's a creep spot that 1-0 is taking that is very far away from the Orc base, so it takes a little pit stop for his own XP, as you can't really stop that. But now, the pressure's on. Yeah, interesting to see him go for one item and then harass. That means that level 2 for DK was pretty damn easy. Maybe he was hoping that 1 to 0 wasn't going to go for the bigger camp, expecting the first here to show up. And 1 to 0 here so far seems to be looking good. Quick level 2 for the quick aura is always very yeah, nice to have. Just like it's super nice to have more subs. Thank you, BJ Miller 4 with the prime. DK damage. Okay. You can still spend some time on Blight and get back up. Counter damage was done as well. Creep very annoying attacking these ghouls. Are you committed to the Saras? Are you going for the ghouls or is it just about creeps? What is zero got it? Yeah, full XP so far in the far here also didn't really slow the DK down that much at all. Was it worth to creep that item in the middle? It seemed like it made the DK's life way easier. Um, maybe not the perfect opening here by focus, but the most important part is yet to come. Oh, and this is cool, actually. Ah, I see. He knew what it was going to go here uh, uh, later, and so he took it away preemptively. Okay, I take it back. That's very cool. Ghoul still hurt. Also, the Hydra was still there, so a little bit of poison on these ghouls, and they don't they don't have the best immune system against that type of poison. No surprise for Focus is built. It is mass air. A little bit of a question how he's going to play it with bats for a later fight, with tier 3, with an expansion. There's several forks in the road now for the orc. And we lasted here important, and 1 to 0 secures them all, all the ghouls alive as well. Double ring for him, very unlucky. Of course, he's looking for the damage for the lift later on, maybe even for the Dark Ranger. But such is the nature of RNG. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes your name is Todd. <laughs> Focus got the Hydra, by the way. He's at 1.6, and that is the XP that's missing on the DK towards level 3, plus a, a little bit extra, like a wolf. That is a problem. Starting this mid-game without level 3 for another minute or so. Weakened coils? You need it. And we have the answer. Focus stepping into the footsteps of his Korean brother Soen, who was in the same situation in a match against 1-2-0 in this tournament and beat him. Focus turning into a copycat and I like it. Yeah, and from what I remember, I feel like Focus was the first player to really play this very well on the top level. Uh, was pioneered a little while ago. The way I see it, you can't beat happy with the style, but 1-0 has shown that he can indeed be beaten by this style. Mass Wyvern coming, and Venice Pierce is going to be ready soon. It's going to be crazy damage output for Focus. But of course, uh, those Wyvern aren't the most sturdy. Hex aggression onto ghouls. Forces some coils, still getting a kill, still getting 
two kill ults. Nice. Actually, grand attack here might be on the cost of a town portal as the lich is coming. Wolves are scouting that. Wyvern are in now. I gotta say, one to zero is taking way too many losses here. No gargoyle answer. Deny missed as well. It's yet another ghoul. Focus firing from all cylinders now at the mid game. Yeah, well done. Perfectly timed here. This little pressure play didn't lose anything. Not even a speed scroll, in fact. Very nice. Five focus indeed. Some much needed experience as well. Creeping now in the middle. Of course, uh, the upside here for one to there is that the ghouls are not at all needed or useful in dealing with the aerials of the orc, but they're still good to have in the fights to pressure the heroes on the ground. Also for creeping. Would be amazing now. You gotta creep with DK, Lich, and skeletons. That is ultra slow. And the best thing about Wyvern at this stage of the game is their damage output is amazing. Yes, they're fragile, but creeps are a little bit on the stupid side of life and don't attack them, and so they fall very quickly. And Venom Spear is coming to double down on that damage. Attack upgrades as well. Focus in a prime spot. Yeah, it's just a clean game. Focus here going through all the stages seemingly perfectly, really well prepared, I would say. From Focus knew exactly what he had to do at what point. But it seems like he is not willing to fight here just yet. Somewhat surprising, maybe, because Advent Spears just finished and 1 to 0 doesn't have his tier 3 benefits yet. But focus also low on mana. Wants the level 3s, wants some clarities, and I guess heal scrolls is also something he needs. I wonder. Doesn't 1 to 0 need Garks at some point? Or Fiends? Or any sort of anti air? Is he so confident that it's playable? with just destroyers and hero nuke. Yeah, if you go by Happy's playbook, then it's about heroes, creeping, levels, and destroyers with upgrades. Gargoyles, very unreliable, of course, thanks to the bad riders. But I think this is the biggest problem for 1 to 0. His levels aren't that good yet. DK3, sure, but what about the rest? <sighs> yeah, that is indeed a bit of a problem. Focus, playing this match, despite having the same heroes and the same units, quite differently from what Soen was doing against 1 to 0. No dives into the base, no economy damage. And this is why 1 to 0 is ending up on a relatively quickly tier 3 with an alchemist out who can of course attack air. An acid bomb is always nice to have. On the flip side, he is also researching liquid fire. Oh yeah. The lamiest of lame upgrades. Not as sick as it used to be in the past though. In the past, you couldn't even repair when stuff was liquid fired which was very annoying. Nowadays you can repair, but it's with reduced repair rate. But yeah, it's, it takes forever this upgrade, as you can see. It's not ready yet. And attacks like these, run bys like these, are surprisingly effective nowadays because all the undeads are selling the TPs these days. Has to rebuy it, here it is. Ooh, Alchemist is low, but I don't know why I got excited for that. Uh, we got towers up. So this will help, definitely a faster response by 1-2-0 than he did against Soin, where he thought, okay, I can, I, can, I can allow him to do this. But since Focus is just walking out, a great trade again. Because of course you want the armor upgrades as an undead, but if ghouls are constantly taken out, how do you get to that third armor upgrade that costs more than 300 lumber? Yeah, exactly. Good point. And Focus having such a mobile army can do this over and over. He knows the under TP is gone again. So either he does good damage here or he's forcing the opponent to be close to home. And what can you do then? Try to expand. We have towers coming at the northern gold mine. Oh, a hex also on the fiend. Couldn't use the web there right away. But one zero is home to now deal with this threat. Oh, hex on the DK gets a fiend kill as well. Is it Focus just playing damn well here? I'm impressed. Even that. Wyvern was saved with like 0.5 HP and this is the next step in this strategy. This is what we were missing uh, from a Soin game for example. These expansions, if they're coming up, it is so hard to kill them. You don't have fiends, you have a very limited amount of destroyers, reinforced defenses is already up. It is a defended uh, playground now, but an expansion will still need some time as you don't have the resources for a tiny great hall here. 
Can 1, 2, 0 just pounce on it while ignoring these towers? He scouted with the ghoul, at least he knows the Wyvern army is coming again, so 1, 2, 0 knows he needs to get ready for the base defense again. And he's got a TP this time, but he didn't cancel the towers. The scouting perhaps lacking a bit before, maybe should have had more skellies out on the map? The DK now sees it, but there's no time to take out the towers. The, not the towers. Could commit to the tiny, but he has to get home. Oh, he is missing half the army, Remo! Oh. And that's the anti-air army! The Lich is not here! The Alk is not here! Oh. The destroyers aren't here! Boom goes the Bat Rider! Gotta get out! This could have been way worse for 1 to 0. What an amateur mistake, I wanna say. Or. Yeah, I was about to say, w w was it on purpose? But oh, no, 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 absolutely not. Yeah, lucky for 1 to 0 that the shadow was low and he could force him to TP. If that hadn't been the case, he would have lost so much more there. But as it is, 1 to 0 has lost a bunch. Folk is playing a very guerrilla tactics kind of a game, dodging the fights. Uh, cutting where it hurts and trying to get ahead that way. And maybe now he's far enough ahead to take the real fight. I guess so. Still no armor upgrade. Do you want to fight when your expansion is at three quarters though and you just invested into three towers? That's like a thousand gold plus. I don't think so. It's just more of the same. More flybys. The ghouls are not close to the towers, getting greeted with the chain lightning. That's nice. another kill. Same for the acolyte. And that's also always good experience, of course. Sick one two punch. First wyvern wally comes in, there's the chain lightning follow up right away. It's gonna cost one wyvern this time, but should still easily be worth it. One to zero. Down also, so much in gold. We see an 800 gold difference between the mines. And now the orc expansion. Soon, start, uh, soon starting to pay off. Plus the Acolytes, of course, that also cost quite a bit. Coil Nova is getting some kills. That's Focus not having a speed scroll. Hurts him now. Also unwilling to TP out. Two Wyvern down. Expensive. But Expo is up now. He bought enough time. Hero levels for 1 to 0 are great, though. 4 3 3. He showed some Bear Grill survival skills. But now the clock is ticking. Yeah, interesting game state still. These Wyvern kills were a big deal, actually. Slow down any kind of huge timing that Focus might be going for. And since one zero now is expanding himself, I guess Focus will have to become aggressive soon. The heroes are clearly in favor of one zero. Focus will need to manage a real supply lead for the rest of the game, I think. Totally agree with that. A second attack upgrade coming in. Focus is a little bit greedy again, not pushing into upkeep. And rare to see 1 to 0 not going for any upgrades at all. Ah, there's the first defense one. Okay, rather focusing on the economy that saves him some time. As of course, in his mind, there's more gold to be found. Feels like 1 to 0 is getting a bit more comfortable with these Wyvern attacks. Yeah, now most of the map is crept. There's no need for him to be out anymore, especially as he's sitting and baby sitting the expansion which will be finishing focus got it with the crystal ball and we'll be looking to attack the main again oh he might be going for a split attack split attack in fact Ooh. okay one to zero moving to the left hand side but his forces is all are also split is it the right split, though, is the question. Wolves are here. Ghoul falls. Right-hand side. How well can he defend it? It is two destroyers, three statues, and an alchemist against the two heroes of an orc. A good reaction by 1-0, I think. Splitting his army here. Absolutely the right call. The two heroes only. Can't really do much here. The wyvern come in. If he gets the cancel... Oh, no, he's a bit too late. A bit too late to get the cancel on the haunted. Or is he? <laughs> I don't know because my stream is frozen. Radio cast, Remo. And the rest of the Ended Army arrived, and so Focus had to TP out. He killed some ghouls again, he killed some acolytes again. Lost one wyvern, one bad rider. But most importantly for 1 to 0, the expansion is still up. Uh, all I see is black. 
black and yellow, black and yellow. Focus still mining, of course, of two bases. He has broken into upkeep. 700 gold on him still. Focus is quite rich indeed. But I wonder, can he actually take on these heroes? Even if all the statues and the destroyers die, if the undead heroes are left over, what zero might still be able to win this? Very interesting game state now. And we're back. Bats coming in. One gets wept. Should be taken out pretty quickly. Bat connecting. Needs an add-on though. Oh, needs another one. That's one kill on the destroyer. Soon to be two. Another bat rider destroyed here. Wyvern falling quickly as well against Acid Bomb. Forces on the ground should be better now. But oh, can he wrap them down? Can he reach them? Focus positioning seems good, but not perfect. Heavy losses on both sides. We wiped out four thousand gold value in the span of 30 seconds both sides here getting tons of xp farce here almost level five should be wolves i would think but one of zero is winning these fights one of zero is definitely winning these fights now can he crack that expansion is the question does he have to is another question I guess in two base, two base. One to zero is feeling comfortable. There's a third base coming for focus. It is far from ready though. Well, perhaps not exactly far. A minute still away. <laughs> By the way, the, the theme of towers continues. Focus is <laughs> right with a bunch of towers. Tower craft three. Thank you very much, Lippy G, for the seven month resub. There's no transition possible for folks, right? He's kind of stuck with this. Also, partly thanks to upgrades, etc. He's just expanding again. Yep, exactly. Triple base income, tons of gold. Focus very low on lumber, though. He may want to go for a shredder. He could afford it right now. Would make sense because it also has to slide peons over later. I think he really should have gone for a shredder here. So many towers. So hard to crack. Get the shredder. Do, 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 do. Get the shredder. Do, do. No? No? Okay. He ain't doing it. Just mass wyvern. He can one shot almost everything. A little bit of creep still remaining on the map, but then now it's empty. A lot of our shop control, invul potions, hero focus will be part of the fights on both sides. It is Wolves level 3 unlocked for Invis Harass. It might just be time for Shade now. Chat was asking before, wouldn't the Shade be an amazing counter to this? I think before he didn't have the lumber at all. Because all the ghouls were killed and all the acolytes were killed too for the gold. But now it might be time. Yeah. Very nice to have, although Lumber is still low on him. Somehow Focus Lumber isn't that low. Uh, might change though later as production resumes. Wolves now in the main base. And what is there always has to wonder? Is this just a distraction? Are you gonna attack me somewhere else at the same time? Which is why again he's splitting his forces. And it should be enough with these hero levels. Focus seems committed though. Double heal scroll, double invuln. He's emptying the shop. Wolves are here as well. And one to zero trying to catch up to 70 food. Oh, Focus getting ready for a hundred, by the way. Is it really only Wyvern? <laughs> Isn't there some other units you could add in here that would make sense? I wonder. If he controls them well with like two groups, because unlike other RTS, Warcraft 3 doesn't have a mechanic where if you overshoot on damage, it automatically targets something else. So that could be a lot of wasted damage if you overshoot on a target. Still a very interesting game state. The mains are going to run out very, very soon. I guess for 1 to 0, there's still a bit more time, as he's been losing acolytes in the main. Focus sending out new peons. Is he trying to take another gold mine? He could tower up the left-hand side. 
He's at 80. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he's gonna build the Great Hall, but just have the tower there against Acolytes might be a good idea. Just like this push. Two Acolytes down. Make it three. Speed scroll out. Grand attack. And now the Shadowhunter is also almost level five in the fight. Should be able to get a level five very quickly. We now have a bunch of gargoyles as well. And I guess there's not that many bad riders. Nope. Only, only one. one. Oh, only one bat. Focus needs more. And he's going for it. Peons wiped out. This tower idea was neat. Rewatched uh, the star shaped X Lord game from Dreamhack days, maybe. Where we had orc towers all over the map. But no, not like this. 1 to 0 is main. I wonder how much is in there. Can't be that much, I think. Scroll of Protection pop. 1 to 0 now going in in earnest, fighting the towers first. Those are buying time. Focus would love to fight with the towers, but maybe he feels he has to wait for more bats. Right now he's got three, two coming at a time. Kind of surprising that there's no third beast theory. Maybe a bit of a mistake here from Focus on the macro side. No third beast theory. For him. He was low on lumber. Maybe that played into it. Maybe he just simply forgot. Two, uh, two upgrades on both sides. One to zero, never going for zero three. Might be a mistake because that's the tipping point when you need three bats instead of two for a Destro. Look at this, kaboom on the way. Sappers in the north. One to zero pushing forward here, but at what cost? The sappers, show them, show them what they're gonna take. Boom, uh oh, for the mine. and they get it. Oh! oh, and the Ziggu. Great play by Focus. Huge attack. And of course, he can afford to lose this base or even the towers because he has a backup on the right hand side. 1 2 0 after 23 minutes. Oh, soon to have no income, no more. Uh, Massive. Oh, the bat! Uh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> clear the sky. This is mine now. Massive Nova was countered by a heal scroll. Heal wave now as well. 1 2 0. Only destroyers up. What do you do without the Gargs? The Alchemist is trying to do it. Zardis focus on the DK though. Can't afford that. TP out. Invul potion. Huge losses on both sides once again. And the supply is still even, but the one who can recover is focus. Oh my. Only 600 gold left in the main base. If this haunted can be cancelled, focus may have the W here. But honestly, 1 to 0 is also hanging in there. He keeps losing army over and over, but he keeps remaking it as well. And the heroes have never died. And the heroes are now 5-4-4. Four, four. Extremely, extremely strong. <sighs> they have to carry. Man, what a match. The level of play is extraordinary here in the round of 12. Strategically, from an execution perspective. Yeah, there was this one town portal, but let, let's just forget about that. We turn a blind eye on that. The fights are great. But what is the limit now? How fast can Focus recover to AD and can he overcome the undead heroes? There should be plenty of gold in the undead natural, right? Yeah, I think like 7k, 7.5k seven, seven I would guess. Yeah. yeah, Focus natural is running out fairly soon. This game is definitely not over yet, guys. 6.4, okay. 10 minutes of mining. Well, with Wyvern involved, probably 14 minutes of mining. Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Focus might need a fourth base. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy to say. Thank you to Flip for gifting us up to 84. One of the best undead players, of course, that we have in Germany. He will show his skills tomorrow in the Dach Inferno Division 2 here on the channel. 7.30 p.m. Again shutting down the ghouls, again shutting down the lumber, but he has 700. That is kind of fine. Keeps 1 to 0 supply block, that's 60. I think at this point 1 to 0 should definitely go for a shade. I mean, it seems well overdue. He certainly has the lumber for it now as well. Also the third Thanks. defend upgrade, man. These bats would be almost useless! Instead of losing four units in the air, 
That was massive! Focus is satisfied with the outcome of this fight, obviously! Seven bats detonated, but now you don't have to spell no more, at least not a meaningful amount, and wo Invis Wolves are coming. That was sick, dude. That was so many bad riders. Holy! Five zero six. Shut on a close to six. Unfortunately, both of these ultimates are trash, especially the shadow hunters. So it's not insane level ups, I guess. I wonder. Well, chain lightning three is great against anyone but heroes and destroyers. Could just wipe out this circle of acolytes if he continues to go for these base kills. Level three is amazing. Earthquake. I don't think he has to sustain to channel an earthquake. Like, he'll be co coil Nova into the nether realm. Yeah. Third armor upgrade coming from 1 to 0. That is definitely going to be quite nice to have. Where are the shades, though, dude? Come on. Well, at least I get my wish for the third defense upgrade. That last bad detonate was clearly a lesson that he simply forgot about that upgrade. And Ethel unlike Fiji, Focus, 1 to 0 is very efficient and scary at 50 supply. He's got the statues, he's got super strong heroes by now. I still wonder in the end, how is Focus going to kill those heroes? Because that's what he's going to have to do sooner or later. Yeah. Uh, nothing that he can achieve here will help him with that. If you add any sort of hero now, gets nuked. Shadowhunter has hex yep that's that's the hero combo but how good is it without the storm follow-up and s focus he only has 7k left in the mine clock is ticking for both players but here is the inverse wolves so annoying we got a good number of bats again seven bats nine wyvern focus still close to 80 supply he can only keep doing this i think as long as he has two base income, though. When the natural for focus runs dry, 1 to 0 might be favored all of us. Chain lightning! I know I have a fetish for that spell, but it's really damn good. All these bads going into the haunted. It is oh. dead now. The third armor upgrade is here, though, so fewer losses than before. Chaotic fight. Bad still detonating, but we have a destroyer up in the air. DK in oh, Alchemist in a world of trouble. Invo Potion passed. Of course, Alchemist can't be coiled here. Focus down to 51 to 0, though, hanging in by the ropes. There's nothing but the heroes, and the Alchemist is out of the Invo. Needs to be focused. Needs to be killed there we go one out of three mission accomplished cost focus quite a lot down to 42 supply but now one to zero really is feeling the pain as well alchemist loss very very hurt hurtful here that was a, a good focus by the orc player choosing the right target and one to zero doesn't even have the gold for the revive <sighs> this might do it finally Death by a thousand and venom spears. GG! Damn. Our two time silver medalist, our December champion, is facing elimination with just one more map. Focus does it, and what a hell of a match it was. Yeah, that was a great performance. This was one of the Focus's best games of recent times, and there have been quite a few of them. Ted Cup Grand Final lately against Happy few weeks ago he lost that forge too but he won the first two maps yeah he also looked really good this was just strategically and tactically beautifully executed by focus one to zero also hang hung in there for a long time but mate you need a shade way earlier than that he could have stopped so many of the attacks just with the shade yeah, there were quite some mistakes by one to zero losing some last hits in the beginning gave focus a quick rise on the Farsia and his DK was low. Uh, you mentioned the shades. While it is pretty impossible to queue them in at the early stages of tier 3. This was like a 30 minute match or something. At some point you gotta get them. Just like the third defend upgrade. I think you absolutely have to prioritize that. There's no other way. Imagine the past three fights with nine armor on the Destros. Bats don't do anything. You make everything more expensive for focus. And then, of course, less powerful. 
Is it the pressure that 120 needs now? He picks Terrana Stand. Wow, that is almost never seen. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Terrana Stand? Is that a Dreadlord? Is that a Dreadlord fast expansion against Orc? Oh, I think Dreadlord has zero chance against Orc, to be honest. Radar Walker is insane against Dreadlord. Um. Also, isn't this very counterproductive? Dreadlord? counterproductive against the wyvern harass because they can just fly across the river yeah and it's very harassable we try to go for mercs maybe hmm <laughs> what a bold choice man he must have a plan like you lost to Soen in the group stage you know that focus is not that far off strategically from Soen and that is what you have to overcome. Good luck. Like, fingers crossed so we get a game three. But judging from game one and interpreting the map as it is, Focus has a solid chance. And if it's a Dreadlord, we've seen it before, Focus is great at tower pushing those Dreadlord plays. This could also make for a switch in strategy. This is a really good Blade Master triple hero map. But almost no orc is playing that at the moment. Question is, will Focus make a war mill or not? When the peon comes out, that is the time. Yeah, he's gonna make a war mill. Okay, different strats on both sides, but let's look at the Altar of Darkness. Thank you, Observer. DK. DK Marines. All right. You said maybe one to zero is winning the mind game here, though. It's Terra stand, of course. All, everybody instantly thinks of expansions. So focus isn't going for the fast tech. He's going for one grunt headhunter into tech later on, and maybe that's what one to zero wants. Maybe one to zero just wants to avoid the mass wyvern play. And if that's the thought process, that would be pretty smart. It is working out indeed, then. Fasia, Grunt Headhunters, by no means a bad strategy. Lin showed it with double racks very, very successfully. But can Focus play this style as well as he does the Wyvern style? I'd say only Lin made it work so far. Consistently. Yeah, this is an interesting setup for the two. Scouting Acolyte here sees the Grunt that gives a lot of information to 1 to 0 right away. Farseer with the Lightning Shield. Very efficient creep. Should be getting a lot of XP here quickly. Acolyte will be taken out. No harass there. And clean creep. Thank you, D Forsaken, for the one year resub. <laughs> Items, of course, incredibly important. 1 to 0. Moves towards the middle. Invu Potion always helpful against Undead. For the early game, I think there's more meaningful items. And Shadow Priest on the Orc side to dispel some skeletons. Before the tech, by the way. Quite Ooh. expensive. Slows down. He's not teching. There's a peon. Is he tier 1 Orc expanding? What? Um, yes. What? Nobody does this, huh? I've okay. And if he's forced to battle at the expansion, the invul could come in could come in handy. Yeah. Berserker has a good idea. He's gonna be scouting for it. A berserker would be amazing once it's up. But here we go. One to zero reads it immediately. It's not the greatest commitment. It's one ghoul. But it's so many skeletons in focus. I think this is not working, man. Yeah, no, this is. <laughs> uh, plan B is now tech instead. Oh my god, that's such an insane tech lead. So, th <laughs> the fast tech on map one was at 1 minute 50. This tech has been started at 4 minutes. It is more than double the time for the tech. 
One to zero. Giga Brain play. He knew exactly, I guess, why to pick this map. Early game here for him is looking, I mean, phenomenal. Doesn't even begin to cover it. This is a unmitigated disaster for focus. Sick read by one to zero though. To not focus on his own expansion or creep his own mercenary cab. Just like star senses tingling, figured this out. Focus trying to get something done now. Blasting all his mana and the info potion. Yo, this is desperate. A clear language here is being displayed, and that is, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the head scratch, head tilt. It is time, focus. What a disaster. Yeah, yeah. Huge disaster. My, oh my. Okay, we get some mercs. Piercing damage, nice to have. But 1 to 0 is already on the way to tier 3. Yo, yo, nope, 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 that's not gonna work. Smart by 1 to 0 to leave a ghoul behind. Yeah, now he knows what Focus is up to, or was up to, anyways. I guess Focus can still try to go tier 3. But for Orc, the second hero timing is so important. Normally, the second hero needs to level, needs to contribute in the late game. Which is, I think, the primary reason why Orc is the one race that never fast expands. Normally, because you need that second hero, whatever it is, to be out and available early. But man, it's gonna be late. Chadonna coming now. We'll be ready at only seven minutes. To quote the late, great Macho Man Randy Savage, I am in a position where I'm rather not gonna be in, man! Trying with hero focus, trying with wolves, trying to distract, but it can't delay the tier 3 anymore. And headhunters, they will be picked up like flies when the Nova is out, when the Dark Ranger is out. It's it's all on a silver platter in here now. Yeah, and honestly, so late as this expansion is for the orc, what other doesn't even have to all in? Of course he can. And there's a good chance of winning with that, but he could also just counter expand, keep creeping, keep leveling, get stronger. And speaking of strong, holy crap, that lich. Oh, he got a couple of claws. That was quite some damage. You know, slap an orb on top. It's gonna be good. Who we're moving into double beastery territory. Wonder if it's Wyvern once again, or if he decides to go for Raiders, but... Wyvern is too late, and Raiders... Mm, seem to be figured out. Yeah, I think he has to go Wyvern. He needs damage. Where the hell is his damage? I see none of it. Well, there was a Berserker, but that one's gone. Wow, totally deflated. Like, Coil Nova owns this. Just getting picked apart right now. His focus 28 supply only. Oh my god, and he is the expanding player. Yep. Um. It, oh, oh, focus is so frustrated. Hoi, yoi, 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 yoi. That is not a satisfied orc player at the bottom left hand side. What a roller coaster of emotions, man. You win that tuck yeah. of war pretty decisively on Hammerfall, and then the first four minutes of the follow up game are just an unmitigated disaster. Yeah, just not prepared for this under creep route. This must have been the first time he experienced exactly like that. Coil Nova <laughs> game should be. Coil Nova game over. That's exactly what it is. Here's a chain lightning, but you don't, you can't, you are, you're not threatening this DK. He doesn't mind, even though there's no inventory. Trying with the wiper to follow up. But unlike game one, the steals aren't working in his favor. Let's just threatening another Nova. Like, look at the confidence. <laughs> He's got nothing. Nope. Are you having fun, Focus? What, well, Zero's having fun? Oh my god! Oh <laughs> god. Oh god. <laughs> Stop this misery! Stop the slaughter! This is Let's against the Geneva Convention. Yeah. 
No shame in this loss, I guess. GG. Focus tried to be sneaky. And you know what? If it doesn't get scouted, maybe he's gonna get rich from this expansion. He was up 1-0 anyways. This was like an economical cheese. That 1-0 was checking for it though. Yeah. And once the expansion is cancelled, the game's basically over. Didn't help that the Lich got insane items and things kept getting worse. Um, but okay. Focus should... Uh, Bookmark this down as just a wash. He tried to do something cheesy. It got figured out. That's how it goes sometimes. He's going to have the last map pick for himself. It's going to be Turtle Rock. Oh, big decider. Oh, boy. Lots to creep here, of course. Big hero levels coming in. Yeah, I think this is a better loss than having a good setup with your prime strategy and that failing. If a cheese fails, it is what it is. Go next. If your core strat is failing, you might start to wonder. And if he plays it like Hammerfall, world is his oyster, but it's a little bit harder to expand here on TR. Yeah, the early stages certainly, but if we're in the super late game and all the gold mines are crept, there's a lot of opportunities to go for run buys and set up towers everywhere. If Focus gets into a good late game position, this could again be a scary setup for the mass wyvern hit and run stuff. 1-0 has really, really been struggling against the Wyvern style. Not just against Focus, also against Soen. But he probably has a good idea of what's waiting for him on the decider map. Oh, man. Once again, one of the great players has to be eliminated, similar to Lawlight and Starbuck yesterday. If you could pack your dream round of eight, both players are probably going to be in there. 1-0 for sure. But you gotta fall. One has to fall. There can only be one making it out of group C. And this one map will determine it. One to zero. It would be a disappointment after last season finals where he made the grand final. If now he doesn't even get into the top eight. The ascension phase is where the journey stopped last time for focus. They was defeated by Labyrinth, by the way back then half a year ago, but this is a different focus. This is a much better focus. Yeah. He's in way stronger shape right now. Unrecognizable almost from back then. And he found a strat and it wasn't the strat of map number two. No, 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 no. <laughs> One to zero to put his performance in perspective. The only player in the entire TP League season to take a series off of Happy. That is insane. Thank you, Gods, for the 37-month resub. Gods, the person on this planet, in the universe, who watched the most Back to Warcraft content in 2023. He watched more Back to Warcraft content than we streamed. That is insane. Magic trick. He just re-watched it a lot. He watched oh, every single stream and then some. That is some hashtag passion. Right on. Thank you, buddy. Perception91, thank you for the sub. As we're having a little break here once again, we are nominated as the non best non-mainstream streamers of the year at the Early Game GG Awards! Exclamation mark award. You might think you voted already. I did my, my duty. No, 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 no. You only did your duty if you vote for us every single day because you can apparently vote multiple times and we gotta take advantage of that. Get the votes in, bring the award home for Warcraft. Do it for the Horde or Alliance. The or the Scourge. The Scourge. You Whatever go. you might be. Whatever your preference might be. I wonder who our audience would prefer to see in the top eight. One to zero is the second undead. The last undead to have a chance to qualify, or is it going to be the Horde taking over? Two orcs already in the playoffs, Focus could make for number three with Soin still having a chance as well. I cannot remember the last time this happened. Whenever there's an... I don't want to use that word. Whenever there, one faction has a lot of players in the playoffs, it's usually Night Elves because there's so many top level Night Elves around. For Orc, I... I did. When? Yeah, hard to think back. Um, for reference, 
last TP League Finals, we indeed had a lot of elves in the top eight. We had four of them with Kaho Moon, Colorful, and Lawliot. Gonna have a couple of returning faces this time around. There was two undeads and one orc and one human. Wait, that doesn't... Does that add up? Ah, it does add up. Yeah. Only Lin last time. Orc, or, Orcish Horde already looking better this time around. That's right. And here's our game. Here is the decision. Cross position on Turtle Rock. 1 to 0 with a huge smile on his face. It is a good amount of momentum that he carries into game 3, but it is still Focus's map choice. And of course, it's going to be a Farseer here once again. And unlike on Terra Stand, you really, really do not have to be concerned about an undead fast expansion here. So, no need for grunts, no need for headhunters. If you don't want them, you can just go for a fast tech. And I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to see. Everything else would be a great surprise here. You can, of course, creep and level on this map as well as the wolves do good damage against turtles. But you want the wyvern back. I do not see a lumber mill, war mill just yet, but the resources will be available in a second. And then in 40 to 50 seconds, there should be a tech if everything goes according to plan. So Farseer started, same for the DK. The opening builds are not surprising us. The same as map number one. going to be a lot about creeping at the start again. The DK was successfully stopped from getting level 3 for a long time. And I think here this is also a reason why a Turlock makes sense for focus. The DK can easily get level 2 on this map, take two greens or take a green and some ogres. But getting level 3 is pretty damn hard if the Farseer is on your tail. That's right. Level t Even level 2 is quite hard. If there's a just one steal, your creep route is down the dumpster. Level 2 tech unfolding with a lumber mill only now. It's a bit different. Oh, Backlight pull getting caught. Doesn't quite work out perfectly, but at least no experience to the Farseer. Focus again wants to get this one item at the start. Mantles are so good. If you should get two mantles, for example, that would be an insane benefit for the Farseer. Doesn't get that, though. Only the Ring of Superiority, which is still nice, but not all that is. The mantle's on the other side. Grab the blanket, go to party. Half a coil added to the DK's mana pool now. But this is where the interesting situations begin. Farseer, where do you go? Do you follow the trail of ghouls and DK? Yep, that's exactly what you do. Not going into the main. Very fragile base, of course. I always wonder, can this not be exploited in any sort of way? Apparently the answer is no. Just trying to create some space and continue to creep is the way. All right. What is there knows what he has to do? Get every single last hit here, and then he's level two. If Focus should get a steal, that would be sensational. But normally one to zero. Does not allow this. Good last hit and also good coil saves the ghoul. No, focus oh, no, one to zero. Guys. Sorry. sorry, sorry, got too excited. Oh, might get one ghoul here, maybe. Got the level two. Now he's got the aura, and there's the coil as well. Clean start so far for one to zero. Right on. Another ghoul hurt, but should also be safe. Yeah, not too much accomplished here. Early game for focus. Things are a little wild now with the creeps waking up and they have ensnare wolves luring around. But yeah, this is already better for the undead than Hammerfall was. He's got less XP though than on Hammerfall. Um, DK only 2.1. And Focus are also able to force some coils out of the DK, which is valuable in and of itself. We've got the Shadow coming in the Double Beastery. This should be to no surprise anymore to anybody. And the Tier 3 about to begin as well. Catching up in tech. Still trying to get some levels. DK is very healthy. Playing around this nicely. Wolf is gone thanks to the creeps. Okay, now we get some right clicks onto that DK. The big turtle here. 
willing to invest the coil, maybe? No, playing around the attack animation of the Farseer pretty much perfectly. Had to invest another coil, but still one in the pipeline. And this just good on that play. Yep. Once they're doing this well. Something was wrong with Focus's number, by the way. There must have been one or two peons stuck. Sometimes that happens when two oh. peons are stuck to each other. This tier 3 started pretty damn late for this kind of a strategy. Tier 3 should normally be a little bit faster. I wonder if that's going to be a problem later. But the Shadow is on the way. So are the Wyvern. And this is where I think, of course, things can be scary now with Hexenbomb. 100%. His lumber, uh, his warmer was also a bit late. Maybe that's already a result of that. I'm not too sure we didn't see focus base too much. But what's zero can be happy with this outcome? DK above 50%. Items are looking fine. And in. Whoa! Since there was no harass so far, we can invest into a sacrificial pit. Yeah, less creeping this time with the ghouls. Basically only three small camps taken. DK not level three yet, not very close either. But little creeping means lots of lumber. Tons of lumber for one to zero this game. Gonna be able to get an early sacrificial pit. Maybe also quickly go into upgrades. Tense moments. Can't afford too many coils now, but he's back at like two and a half. Wyvern coming in. Ghouls can be killed now, of course, but oh, so much pressure on the Shadow Hunter. This is what Coil Nova does to you, looking almost a little similar to Terranus. But good reaction by Focus. I think he saw it coming. Speed scroll, heal self, and the Shadow survives. And cost a lot of mana out of the Undead as well, where we don't quite have statues yet. But they are, of course, on the way. Did Focus scout the main already to see that there's a sacrificial pit? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he did in a little while. More hex on the DK. It's not preventing XP because the Ogre Magi lives. Just lots of damage on the heroes. Hero Arena has oh. opened. Things are weird now. There is another hex, but no chain lightning or anything, of course. Only level one. Oh, no TP. No TP, of course. Lich is still busy there. What is there a bit overwhelmed? Focus, setting up a trap. Here's the hex. Wyvern gonna do the damage now. How do you save the first hero? You don't. The bat, oh, gets the kill. Oh, 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 and the Lich is still busy there on the right hand side. Focus, if you smell this, this could just be a double kill. Oh my god, is this actually how this series ends? How we get our Ascension player going through? Oh my god, the Hex as well! One, two, zero, getting punished! Oh my god, what a punish for having no TP. When the will the Undeads finally keep their TPs? Well, not today! The item goes to focus as well! One, two, zero, completely overwhelmed by the chaos that focus caused! 16 food lead! Tech done, levels are good. Focus is with one and a half legs in the top eight. Yeah, honestly, folks could just go for a tiny right now. Run home, get the tiny, expand and win. But of course, easy for us to say, we exact see exactly how many ghouls there are, how much supply there is, where the heroes are at. Focus is gonna creep for now. But of course, you know, it's, it's a gigantic. Happy is rubbing his hands, his finalist of the past two TP League Grand Finals. About to be eliminated. He needs a miracle. Or a big mistake by focus to come back from that. Unlike Hammerfall, he does have perfect vision. He got perfect information. He got that shade. And with this information, he has to create a play that focus not expected. Those hero levels though. That's what kept him in the game for the longest time on Hammerfall, having strong heroes. But the DK isn't even level 3 yet. He's working on it now, he's gonna get it from this camp. But man, that was a terrible start for 1-2-0. Yeah. All hope of the undead. 
Lie here. Again, Hex on the DK. There is an Invo Potion he just found. Lich only level one. Not scary at all. Bad connects. Needs a coil. Amount of mana stealing. So there is no coil. And the Hex focus continues. So annoying. Destroyer had to stop for a little second. Wyvern tried to catch up. That Destro is gone in seconds. The Lich doesn't have mana anymore. The expansion is starting to be built. Still takes two minutes. Focus trying to keep his opponent busy. Ooh, oh, no! As well, and Lich is dead. Next hero kill for Focus. Getting further and further ahead. Shadow Hunter Nuke trying to get out. There is a TP. Passes it. Survives. Alchemist. Stand on the volley. He's chasing. The, the army is not even part of the TP. And in this case, it's a good move by Focus to chase. Another double kill? Yeah. There's no way to save him. Coils, of course, be won't be the savior here either. Wondersir is actually close to the expansion. Wondersir could find a cancel if he just swoops over. Oh, I said it. You have the perfect information. But apparently you do not. Yeah, I guess the shade walked away before the expansion was started. I think he didn't quite see it yet. Oh, he was so close. This could be an ascension phase with Starbuck out, with Moon out, and with 120 out. Those were a lot like it right now. Taking out the statues. Focus is at that critical mass of Wyvern and whatever you click is dead. Shadow Hunter. On the bad rider. A lot of mana as well gone. And the ghouls ultra hurt and mana for one to zero is gone. These undead heroes are not scary at all. Need to snatch his back as soon as possible. Oh, even splitting the wyvern. Nice. Greatly reducing acid bomb damage. Focus setup is fantastic. Towers now. Bats are coming in. No upgrades for 1 to 0. Constantly has to revive his heroes. Inventory empty and double level 3. Ben and Spears doing a lot of damage here. 1 to 0 wants this last hit and he will get it. Item on the ground. PK picks it up. Second in one for him. Would have loved to have perhaps a mana potion. And the destroyers are taken out so quickly, dude. Shadow already level 4. Farsh is also about to get it. Incredible momentum by Focus, and he's not taking huge risks. He's poking, he's keeping 1 to 0 busy, I like that choice, but he's never fully committing. The base of 1 to 0 has been untouched for a long time. Seems to be of the opinion that an economy advantage with an expansion is enough, because they're both also on a similar tech. We're trying to expand as well. Back of the turtle. This is perhaps something Focus might not expect. Run pushing out. In York's favor. Oh my god, that damage! Alchemist just wiped out! And Lich might be next on the menu. There is a coil, there is an invo potion, a little bit of longevity. Focus is fight ready, clicks on the statue, disappears in seconds. How do you stop this? How? Do you stop this? You might not be able to. The Lich also about to die. The Invuln. Oh my god. Last second. Level 2 Hex. Almost took him out. Which no survived, man. but that was the very last coil for a long time. In empty inventory here as well. Another bat detonating, but also another statue taking out. These are meaningful losses. 1300 gold wiped out. So is the Lich. And the DK is just about to follow. All out focus, GG, our two-time yeah. silver medalist, the December champ is out, and the horde runs wild at TP League. Focus proving how strong he really is at the moment. Excellent shape for him. Terna stand indeed just a wash. I was worried, dude. I was like, oh my god, is this yeah. the moment? Is this the moment? Yeah. Everything again.